Hey JDM fans and JDM EXO followers, have a special episode for you guys today and we're featuring in this top secret location both the Z-Tune R34 and the R33 400R. But let's have a look. So some really interesting things about the Z-Tune is the 2.8 liter RB26, so technically RB28. So this is actually unit two. And as you can see, there's plenty of carbon fiber all over the place. The interior has Alcantara Let me get the light on here so you guys can see more of this. So you can actually see the uh, steering wheel here, which was actually a option item from the Z32. If I remember correctly, I'll look that up to double check. You can see the advanced gauges here. You got a seat protector on here. Absolutely gorgeous. And got a lot of protectors on there to make sure everything stays mint. And as you can see underneath, what's unique versus a lot of the other R34s is the lack of a rear diffuser. But in place we do have some racing style gearbox coolers. So the oil for the gearboxes go through here for extra reliability and performance. And as you can see, the, uh, the wheels are actually 18s made by Rays. And we've got six piston calipers, Brembo's in the front, and in the rear we've got four, and a carbon fiber drive shaft, except I can't really lift up this car to show you guys. You saw the gearbox coolers in the back, and lack of rear diffuser, but this As you can see from the Omori factory. This variant of the RB actually has about 500 horsepower. But not only do we have this, let's go take a look at the 400R. All right, we've got the 400R back here. I think this would be the second 400R I've seen in the last several years. It's definitely a lot lower mileage than the last one I saw. And as some of you might imagine, it is as awesome as they're saying. Of course, I uh, guess I won't be able to take it for a test drive because we've got a few other cars in the way, but hey, we'll take a closer look inside. So some really important tips and what makes this special is it also has 2.8 liter RB26 variant. And there was supposed to be about 100 of these but only 44 were ever made. We do have the rear carbon fiber wing and carbon fiber drive shaft and the suspension is upgraded. And you can see this Nismo body kit. It does have improved cooling, partly with the vents on this, forcing all the air into the air cooler and also has ducts for the brakes. All right, we have the three-piece alloy wheels here, forged to perfection. Wow, and that interior smells so fresh on this 400R. So definitely low mileage, great condition. 
I'll take good care of this, that's for sure. And if you don't believe me about how fresh this is, take a look at this. 1913, right there. Mm. Absolutely fresh. Of course, another seat protector we've got here, keeping everything good. Titanium shift knob. We've got a couple of Nismo gauges there for boost oil temperature and uh, for the front torque. When you get that four wheel drive going. Of course, we have this gauge cluster here, so absolutely mint. Have a look at the engine here, and you can see plenty of carbon fiber. Mm -mm. It's a lot of carbon upgrades on this. It's actually pretty heavy duty for carbon fiber uh, for the hood. But if you know how heavy the original R33 hood, you would know that this is a lot lighter. All right, so let's have a look here. We got the improved cooling with the better radiator. We have this nice Nismo strut bar. Look at that, it's heavy duty. And of course, the RB26 stroked out to 2.8 liter, pumping out 400 horsepower. We got some of the lines to the oil cooler. The improved intakes. So for under 2,000 kilometers, hot diggity. Mm -mm. Oh, and uh, before I close the hood, I thought I'd mention which model this was. So if we look over here. 022. Made in 1996. Wow. All right, guys, there you have it. Number 22 out of 44 of the 400R. Absolutely gorgeous. All right, guys, I guess I'm gonna navigate my way here between the mirrors. This, mm, look at that midnight purple. I guess we'll say one last goodbye to this beautiful machine here. These aren't for sale, <laughs> but it's nice to see though. Number two, we've got number 22 of 44 of the 400R though. Awesome piece of JDM history though. All right guys, you know what to do. Hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. And we're gonna be looking for more JDM history just like this, amazing machines. That Z-Tune, absolutely beautiful. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video. Take care.